Welcome back, class. It's the second week from 2020. We're gonna have a fun topic today. Talk about what kids like to do. Like, for example, let's look at my kids right now. What are you guys playing with? Um, swords. Swords? Yeah. And what do you like about swords? Yes, yes. Swords are fun, aren't they? Jojo, why do we have swords? We might pick them out at the store. What's so special about swords? You can defend yourself if a bad guy comes. You can defend yourself if a bad guy comes? What else is nice about swords? Um, what could you do with a sword? We can wrestle. You can wrestle? You mean attack somebody? Uh, die, Moses. Uh, just joking. Anything else about swords? You just like to have fun, huh? Oh, the sword poked you. Well, swords are pretty interesting. Kids love swords. But how do we find out why swords exist? Or why we have them? Do you know? Bet we can find out some more. Let's take a look at a book for a closer look. Bye! <laughs> Alright, so here we have the kids' book. Or the, the kids' library. It's a bunch of books, right? And right here is a book about swords. <clears throat> now, I just don't happen to have a book of swords. So let's take a look at it. See what we know. Oh, football. A couple things to recognize. The title of the book is Swords. The author's name is Ben Boos. We open up the book. Some pictures. Written and illustrated by Ben Boos. Oh, what do we have here? It's the name of the company that published it. Candlewick Press. Where? In Cambridge, Massachusetts. Oh, on this page where everyone just flips through and ignores all the small writing, tells us a little bit where it was written and when it was written. 2008 by Ben Boos. He's the author. What else can we see? It was printed in China. Hmm. Interesting. There's a lot of swords in this book. What I find interesting is the samurai sword. To be a samurai was to be a man of the sword. The sword was not merely a weapon of choice, it was essential. One could not be a samurai without it. In order to be a samurai, you needed a sword. So much information about swords that I can be an expert. I can reference this source of information and tell people why I know so much. All right, so we found out some fun information about swords and we used the book to help us understand. Now, when we reference the book in a paper or when we talk to somebody, we just want that person to know that we're not just making up lies, but we're telling some sort of truth. So if I'm writing a paper and I want to provide some sources, I can say, according to Ben Boos, in his book, Swords, he talks about samurais needing a sword for their identity. And I would be right, because I would have referenced somebody who did research. Now that book's probably not the best source of information for swords, on a we historical level, but it's no. still a source. And at this grade of eighth, you just start with sources when writing facts. We now my outside. kids are running away outside and they'll probably get hit by a car soon. Oh, I gotta go in my front yard and stop them from getting in danger. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and I'm not too safe with my sword, so I just grab it by the handles and, you know, hold it like this, because that's how you're supposed to use a sword, right? Right? Hey, Jojo. Is it healthy to eat cookies all day? <laughs> so we used the author's name, the name of the book, the date it was published. Look at this. To let people know that we have information that comes from an actual source. This sword is not very sharp or very straight. But it is a sword that I got when I was a kid from my grandfather. You see, he got it in Japan during World War II. It was a decorative sword. In fact, if you look on the side of the, the sword, there's some engravings on it. Some Japanese engravings. <laughs> you kind of see it, huh? Interesting. I wonder what this sword's for. Can you get this off? You want this sword, Levi? Yeah. Does this be better than your sword? Yeah. 